No, there's nothing as heartbreaking as putting all your efforts into something and then getting some very bad, bad, bad results. And this is actually what's happened to me on my poultry farm. And I'm going to talk to you about it today. My name is Angela Ite. I'm a poultry farmer. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about a disease that took about the lives of about half of my poultry birds. Yeah, so let's get right into today's video. I know I'm not smiling because I lost them, but because I overcame the disease. So I'm going to talk to you about it. Yeah, I'm talking too much. Let's get right into the video. I don't even know if I should sit for this video, but I'm actually on my way to check on there's someone um, working ahead. So I'm going to check on him. So I think I'll be recording this while I was going. Yeah, so um, somewhere in, was it somewhere in March or April? I think in April. Yeah, I was, I was, I was at work and then I received a call from um, the person taking care of the beds for me that this is what's happening. The beds are coughing, sneezing, and it's been going on for like two days. So I was like, coughing, sneezing, and I had already done some research on like the diseases that could affect these beds, you know. So I started thinking, okay, which of them could it be? Because um, these symptoms are like almost um, the same for most of the diseases so I was, I was like okay so he should tell me more what's happening so um i think i came yeah that was it that week yeah that week he told me the next day i wasn't i was occupied so the next two days i came to the farm to check on the beds and it was a disaster like coughing everywhere sneezing everywhere water from their nostrils and like i was like okay i like this lightning so i was like okay what's happening mm. my bed's going to die like what's going to happen i'm going to lose everything i was very very worried like if you're a poultry farmer you would understand what i'm talking about when you see that something isn't going right to your bed so um this is what happened i decided to take them to the vet so i took them to the vet already had my suspicions that it could be coriza because um what was going on was like the symptoms were very 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 closely related to coriza symptoms so i was like it might be coriza so but then i took them to the vet because i didn't know what to give them or anything like that so let's talk about coriza so coriza is like a bacterial infection that affects the respiratory system of beds poultry beds it affects chickens turkeys it affects a lot of bits so this is what um these are the signs these are the signs of coriza you see that your bed has uh how do you call it like some liquidy stuff coming from its nostrils like a discharge and then sneezing the bed starts coughing the bed um reduce like it's not able to perform very well like as in eating it doesn't eat so stop eating no like it will eat very little or to stop eating and then the eye area will start swelling up so like when the eye swells it gets to a point where it's like it looks like the eye is even closed like i was scared i was like hey what is this like what kind of disease is this because i didn't i really i really didn't know what was going on so yeah so that those are the signs um of coriza the mode of transmission um from my research it can be transferred from flock to flock so maybe i'm a farmer i have beds and then an, a, there's another farmer close by so it can be transferred from that farmer's flocks to um, beds to my beds and then also it can be transferred from like in between your beds through their feed through their feces through um like their coughing the other one so it's like it can be transferred by air so it was like it's very easy for all your beds to get infected like if you're not very fast with your actions all your beds to get infected and that's what happened so in just like three days like everyone was <laughs> all the beds coughing sneezing coughing sneezing discharge from the nose here and there eyes swelling so yeah that's what happened so fast forward with the treatment i took them to the vet and then the vet um i took two two of the beds to the vet and then the beds the vet diagnosed them and then they, they said and they are going to give them some antibiotics so they gave me the drugs i don't really remember the name of the drugs but i'm going to put it here if i get the name so they gave me those drugs to um, give to them 
so i gave them the drugs and then when i went to um they have a vet store that's where i bought the drugs from so they, at the vet store i met um, a fellow from my he was like well, what's wrong with your bed and i was like this 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 he was like okay he wants to see so i showed him the bed and then he was like oh this one ah this one there is simple this one just um press the eye the eye was swollen so he was like we should press the eye for the thing like the thing there's something in the eye it will come out so he just held the bed and then pressed the eye and <laughs> there was this big thing like it was whitish it was not moving so it came out of the eye and then dropped onto the ground and then so after a drop i realized that the best eye recovering like just after that thing came from the eye, i realized that the, the best eye opening its eye yeah the chicken started opening its eye and then now I was able i gave it food it was able to eat and he was like we should put um uh what's the name there's this um lime so i use the lime on their eye like to rub the so there was so it's kind of so so and the eyes i rubbed the lime it, it really worked like the so said dying out and then they started gaining like they're recovering i was giving them the medicine as well so all this while i was still like losing a number of the beds like almost every almost every day yes almost every day some days i'll lose two three so um after i said i started giving them the medicine the deaths reduced and then it was like yes one died then suddenly boom one day 10 died i was like then, so i was called 10 of the beds are dead like and from uh what the uh, guy told me it was like they didn't even really have any swellings on their face and then but then they had just died like he woke up in the morning to go and feed them and then they were dead so i was like wait is this the coriza or like another sickness like what is happening <sighs> i don't even know how to put my um expression at that moment like into like i don't know how to express how i felt at that moment to you so fast forward this is what happened the birds just kept on dying like 10 then five then so they were just dying and i was like no but we're giving them the drugs so i said i was i was like no nah, this is no longer coriza this is something else like in three days we had lost like 20 beds i was like no this is not coriza so i i i realized that it could be there's this other sickness which has um this disease which has um similar symptoms and that is newcastle it's deadlier like coriza doesn't really have doesn't really kill the birds as fast as newcastle does newcastle in just two days you can't even lose every bed like on your farm that's that's newcastle it, it really kills and then if your beds are already laying and then even if they don't die then their egg production is going to drop and they're going to produce eggs with thin shells so that's newcastle so the signs of newcastle are like um, the same coughing sneezing but then with additional symptoms so the additional signs the signs of newcastle uh dropping wings so the bed the bed's wings drop they are no longer like up and then standing and then the muscular there's muscular tremors so you can see the bed just then the bed is shaking like and then there's also um there are pools that turning greenish watery greenish color and then uh, they also they are not able to eat very well and then also they are depressed you see a bed they're just like quiet they can't they don't really do anything they can't do anything they don't eat they don't do anything and the tissue around their eyes also swells just like in coriza so the the ultimate sign is sudden death so immediately you see sudden death on your farm like it is like you hmm, newcastle like it's going to finish your bed so then once again i uh, met uh, i told a farmer who is um, not not close to me but not very far away from me he's like a friend and then i told him so he was like okay he used um this local medicine for his birth and then 
it's worked for him so he recommended that medicine to me it's called mam mam bedu it's, it's in a liquid form and it's in a bottle i don't know how um i don't know how to describe the medicine because it was just in a normal container no description nothing there's there's no nothing on it so um i got it from the, those information centers yeah i mean Sinyane, so ghana so i got it from the those information centers and then you're going to mix it with um water so i mixed um the um mom from doing the water that the birds are going to drink and then they drank it so i gave it to them for some days and then i realized that the death started reducing so they were no longer dying as much as they were so it reduced like two three two three two then one then the birds stopped dying and that is how i was reduced from 180 it wasn't 180 it was even 183 or because the, I was given some beds in addition, so like 185, yeah, roughly 185, and now I have just 88. So <laughs> it was a very sad. All these things took place in like a period of about a month, or less, about three weeks to three weeks. Yeah, it's about three weeks, and then so that's what happened. That's how I lost my beds. So I am, um, yeah. This is the end of the video, but um, but I want to say something. I, I think I I know the reason why um, these diseases came on the farm. So if you would like for me to make a video on why these diseases were able to attack my bed, um, kindly comment down below, and I'm going to do that for you. I'm going to make a video on why I think I lost these beds.